Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Star Wars The Black Series Director Krennic in four months or less. Director Krennic is a six-inch scale action figure fresh from the latest chapter in the Star Wars saga, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. He's the new Star Wars villain that's the old Star Wars villain that we didn't know existed for the last 40 years because George Lucas Tarantinoed us and told the story all out of order. Forget the release dates, the proper viewing order should go like this. Episode 4, 5, 6, Flash Gordon to prepare the palette. Episode 1, Spaceballs for dessert. Take a nap. Episodes 2 and 3, Blade Runner to reassure you about science fiction filmmaking. Episode 7 and then back to the beginning for Rogue One with fresh eyes and a new perspective. He's got standard articulation, which means no one should be producing a YouTube show complaining about single-jointed elbows and a limited ab crunch, because this is what Black Series figures are. Either you like them as they are, or you don't. But let's just put a pin in that for now, because, you know, let's come back to it. He comes with his DT-29 heavy blaster pistol and a removable plastic cape. A plastic cape works here because it preserves the silhouette of the character, but it doesn't work because it can't be posed and has no sense of movement to it. For Vader and Kylo Ren, cloth goods capes were the right move. Captain Phasma's plastic cape was the right move for her, since that was the only way to maintain that asymmetrical off-the-shoulder look. Krennic is a perfect example of all the places where Hasbro has to walk the line of delivering a character that looks right versus a figure that has functionality at their desired cost. Human heads have been a problem since the line started. This one isn't the worst, but suffers from the same issues as all the rest. Great sculpt that cannot be fully realized with the minimal paint that is applied. As for those single jointed elbows, fine, I give in. I'm never gonna mention it again. He can't put his thumb to his lip or hold his gun down in front of him the way he is in all the promotional images from the film, but he can stand there with his hands at his side and maintain that caped, armless look. His white uniform top is just like Tarkin's, but he pairs it with a full set of jodhpurs, giving him the stature of regal military commander fighting on the front lines of fashion. Those boots and gloves, that sidearm and a flowing white cape leave Tarkin and Vader breathing heavy as Krennic attempts to strut right past the gruesome twosome to woo the Emperor directly with the power of a fully armed and operational flair for drama. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Krennic brings the Star War back to the political side, the economic side, the side that believes the intimidation factor of military might is more powerful than the archaic force. It's great to have a villain in the Star Wars universe who isn't some sort of mangled magic user or devilish black knight. If you're not a Star Wars fan or you want to roll the dice and wait to see if Figure Arts announces something with weird silver hair down the road, then this figure is an easy pass. But if you still can't figure out how to order from those import sites or what they charge for shipping and need to start posting pictures of Vader, Tarkin, Krennic runway walk-offs right now, then this figure is a must-have. So buy it if you see it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and share the video. Please be cool and keep any Rogue One spoilers out of the comments. But you can let us know if you've seen it and how long you waited before watching Episode 4 again. I loved Rogue One and what it brought to the saga. Very much looking forward to Episode 8 and everything that comes after that. I literally got home that night, we saw it, put the Episode 4 tape in the machine, and watched it all the way through. If it hadn't been so late, I probably would have watched Empire and Return as well. Nerd. Yeah. Betamax. <laughs>